This is a lace monitor, Varanus Varius. And I have to be very careful. <laughs> they used to be found in the city of Manningham, right through the outer suburbs of Melbourne. Unfortunately, they're a rarity to see these days. When I was a kid, they were quite common around the Dandenongs, but they're becoming rarer and rarer and rarer. Now they're listed as an endangered species in Victoria. This is the second largest apex terrestrial predator here in Victoria, second to the dingo. These are vital for our ecosystems. They eat up all of the slithering snakes in Manningham. We need to invite these animals back. And they've got such tough skin. When a snake bites them, the fangs of the snake deflect off that tough skin, almost like security mesh on the front door of your house. Apex predators are so important to protect in our ecosystems. They keep balance and order. There are five families of lizards living in the city of Manningham. He's a monitor. You can tell he's got a forked tongue for smelling you with. A bifurcated tongue. Aren't they amazing? You might see just down here on his leg, a bit of skin is peeling off his body. He's sloughing. He's shedding his skin. He's growing bigger. That means he's healthy. He doesn't have to go to the shops to buy his clothes. Wow, look at that. You don't want to get bitten by this guy because he has necrotic saliva in his mouth. Look how he's using his back to flatten out his body like a solar panel. These lizards are ectothermic. They heat up their body by sitting in the sun. Look at his adaptations. Massive, massive long tail. A body built for speed. He drags his tail behind him as he goes running through the undergrowth and it helps him to balance. Very sharp claws for climbing up the trees and he uses his tail like a bullwhip to whack you with if you get too close. And the reason why they're endangered is because of loss of habitat and they often fall victim to our vehicles on our roads. They sit in the middle of the roads to sunbake. Lace monitors are close cousins to the Komodo dragon. And he needs tall, open eucalyptus woodlands to live in. They need the hollow logs to rest in and to hibernate in. Lace monitors lay their eggs in termite mounts. The warmth from the termite colony helps the eggs to incubate. It takes nine months for a tree goanna to hatch out of an egg. And tree goannas are known to be quite maternal. When the babies are about to hatch out of the egg, the females have been seen scraping out the termite mound, assisting the baby tree goannas to get out. Now with land clearing and land degradation, termite mounds are disappearing. So they've got nowhere to lay their eggs. And when the babies do hatch, they get predated upon by foxes and cats and dogs. So there's no replenishment of lizards when these animals die out. They are one magnificent animal. If you live in the Green Wedge, you might have these animals residing on your property or rural area. They're quite cryptic and not often seen. Who knows? We need citizen science. We need observations from community residents to take photographs if you see a creature like this. Think about it. Mount Dandenong and the city of Manningham are not too far away as the crow flies. We need to plant more habitat, more vegetation, and invite these lizards back. This is a living dinosaur, and we need to protect them. They may be scary, but they do a fantastic job. Let's welcome them back to the city of Manningham. Wow.